Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to install My UI 6 on your OnePlus One. Alright, now My UI 6 is based off of Android 4.4.4, so if you're coming from a Lollipop 5.0 ROM, you're going to have to downgrade your firmware. And in order to do that, you're going to have to download a firmware zip. You can find the link to that over at Gadget Hacks, it's in the full guide there. And you're also going to want to download the actual ROM files right there as well. Now, we're going to be flashing these through TWRP, so you are going to have an unlocked bootloader with TWRP set as your recovery image. And after you have all that done, go ahead and reboot TWRP. The easy way to do that is to enable developer options and then check the box next to advanced reboot. And then from your power menu, select reboot and then check the box next to recovery and then hit OK. Alright, after TWRP boots, go ahead and tap wipe, hit advanced wipe, select the boxes next to data, cache, system, and data cache, and then after that just go ahead and swipe to wipe. Once the wipe is finished, go back to the main menu, and now we're going to downgrade our firmware, so hit install, select the Sanjimon 11S firmware that you downloaded earlier, and then swipe to install. Once the install is finished, go back to the main menu, and now if you're coming from a Sanjay Mod 11S based ROM, this is where you're going to begin. So just go ahead and hit install, select the ROM zip that we downloaded earlier, and then go ahead and swipe to install. Once the flash is finished, tap reboot system, and then wait for my UI 6 to start up. Alright, after my UI starts, you're going to be brought to the setup wizard, and there you could input your Wi-Fi password and make sure you have a me account and if you don't you go ahead and create one through the setup wizard It's pretty easy and it takes a couple minutes to complete and then after that you'll be brought back to the home screen And there you can see all the apps you have um, There is no app drawer, so you will have to um, See it more like an iOS style But you do still have a notification pull down along with a swipe to the right to get quick settings and also control your brightness as well your settings are um, pretty much a good hybrid between Android and iOS. You have um, per app settings as well, which um, could be changed directly from the settings app, or you could change them from the app itself, depending on which one you're trying to run. All right, now if you go down to About Phone, you can see what you're running. Right now you can see that it's running Android 4.4.4 instead of Android Lollipop, um, but you are running the most current version of my UI 6. Alright, so now back at the home screen, if you want to start editing it, all you have to do is pinch it and then you go ahead and see the different buttons at the bottom of the screen. You could change a, a bunch of different um, stuff doing with the layout. If you want to change the way the pages scroll, go ahead and select that option and then go through the different transition options and just select the one you like. After you find the one you like, go back to the home menu and I can see that effect take place. My UI also comes with a theme manager. Go ahead and apply themes that way. You could do so from the main menu, or um, after you find the one that you download, you can hit download button. And as that's downloading, you can also check out the other things that you purchased by going to your purchase tab and then seeing the different themes that you have already downloaded. And after you want to change it, you just go ahead and select it and hit apply. All right, the camera is the same one that is um, featured in my other guide. If you've seen that. See color OS camera, and if you scroll slide up from the bottom, you can go ahead and add new plugins by hitting the add button and then hitting install on the right hand side next to the plugin that you want to download. All right, next up, I'm going to show you the My UI utilities. Um, a lot of them work, um, some of them have still not been ported over to English, so you are going to still see it in Chinese, especially you can see that in the dialer app. Because if you go over to the yellow pages um, section, you're not going to be able to look up anything if you're in the US because it is still based in China. You're going to have to wait for these features to be ported over to the US and other countries either by my UI, the my UI team or by somebody else. All right, and I would also suggest using the regular Google Play Store to download apps because the my store is still in Chinese, so you won't be able to get um, many English based apps there. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Be sure to check out the full guide over at Gadget Hacks. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.